Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods, proudly supported by Just Car Insurance. Now in 2009 we made the Mighty TRD Laser, which was a collection of the most distasteful and filthy mods that you could possibly do to a car. Now two and a half years later we decided to do it all again, but this time we wanted to see if we could actually create a car that had some street cred, even though we are going to build it again with cheap fake eBay mods and parts that we could find around the house. We also had a heap of people writing in asking us to do mods that we just never do on our own car. And we thought a Honda Civic would be an awesome canvas to do them on. Now this episode is a little bit different to usual in that we've decided to give you guys a raw look into the footage that makes up a Mighty Car Mods episode. So there's no voiceover, there's no music, there's no quick cuts. What you're about to see is the raw footage that usually gets hacked up and turned into a short 10 minute episode of Mighty Car Mods. So sit back and enjoy the Honda Civic build part one. We tried, we tried to try I'm not I'm not gonna let you fall this time let me hold you I won't let anybody hurt you oh oh <laughs> Does it still smell bad, dude? <laughs> it's so, it's the weirdest, rankest smell. I've never smelt anything like it. I have actually never smelt anything like it. Oh, windows. All right, bring it into the driveway, man. Don't lock me in with the stick, <laughs> Sorry. man. Because it's not fast or anything. It's just boring. but you should have seen how much shit came out of it. So with Mighty Car Mods, whenever we buy a new car, the first thing we do is uh, give it a good wash, make sure we get rid of all that stuff, and then clean out the human slime. And there is always human slime. With a car that's done 230,000 Ks, there's gonna be a lot of human slime in there. Our problem at the moment is that it smells so rank. It smells like, um, this is gonna sound really wrong, and please block your ears, but it smells like rotting genitalia. And um, we actually need to find out what the source of the smell is, because at the moment, it is not drivable. You need to have the windows down. It is suffocating, it is so rank. Um, the car did have a lot of air fresheners in it, about 10 of them hanging uh, when we went and inspected it. Um, but the car is rank, and we do need to find <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, wow, it's hot as well, it's, oh. I've never smelled anything like it. I have actually never ever smelt a smell that smells like that. And um, we need to find it. Do you reckon, Marty, there's something in the boot? Like something dead? Oh, the th <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the thing wow. that makes it weird is that it's so, um, it's, oh. Oh. Um, the thing that's so strange is that um, it's so clean inside. I mean, it's it's everything's been cleaned. It kind of looks like it's been detailed, but it just smells so bad. Um, I reckon the boot, maybe. Oh. 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 It's the amplifier. I'm not joking. Good to go. Um, the amp is gone, but it still stinks real bad. And I've got to get in there and see if there's anything in there that's causing such a wretched stench. But um, I almost vomited when I went in there a minute ago. So I'm just trying to sort myself out. Tint so black it works as a mirror. I'm going in. So first things, I'm gonna tape up these, because if I touch them, something would happen. Like this. And that's not good hanging down your boot, so we're gonna fix that up for starters. Interestingly, breathing through my mouth, 
I feel like I can taste dog and I've never eaten dog before but I'm getting a doggy sensation on my tongue we got a free chamois Martin shotgun increased muscle gene protein up to 118 percent there's heaps of them man I'm just gonna clear out the whole boot and make sure there's nothing dead in here what is that what is that Martin do you want to have a taste? Oh, that's rank. What is it? That's a bike pump. No bike in sight. Toothbrush Martin, check that out. It's got a pube on it. It's the end of some condom wrappers. More muscle stuff. More, Martin, what is this? Get a look at this thing. I've got a feeling that that is the result of somebody having a pleasant night in this car because that is something that's gone it's a tissue that's gone wet it's now gone hard and is full of hair can you see all the hairs in that that is a tissue that's wet and gone dry that's full of pubic hair did you buy it? <laughs> I, I would so i would own it you have to own it That smells really bad, man. It wasn't, dude, it wasn't me. Can you on me next time? Dude, I promise, I would own it if I did. Proudly. Do you smell that? Yeah. I thought it was you, but I didn't want to say anything. I thought it was a leaky one. Oh, man. Oh. No, seriously, dude, was that you? No, it wasn't me. Oh. It smells like, uh, uh, it smells like uh, a dog scrotum. How do you know what that smells like? I can't tell you. Yeah, that's wrong. Did we leave? It's like it's got food or something in it. Did you leave anything in it? No. You alright, man? That's <laughs> so bad. This is only helping a little bit. The lemon's quite good. Yeah, this isn't working, man. Do you want to try the lemon? Yeah. We'll use it like a scuba mask. Go. Breathe. Hold it. Breathe. <laughs> Ow. Oh, man. Uh. You all right? Makes my eyes water, dude. The oh. stink glitch that almost hit a Maserati. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Ow. It's not good, is it? Not good at all. That looks like it hurts, man. It really hurts. Ah. <laughs> ah. Thanks, man. That helps. A lot. Ah. Oh. See what. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Cut out, dude. Ah. Oh. I might, um, I'll put it back in. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> okay, we just got off the phone with our Darren from Just Jap. Um, we need some fake seats, um, and um, oh, seats that are real, real seats. Well, you, you can really sit on them, but they're they're kind of you know they're they're ones that are made to look like you know kind of proper seats. Uh, and we got a limited budget, and we got limited time, of course. So they close in 17 minutes. We reckon it'll take us 16 minutes to get there. Um, no civic, either. Civic power, no boost. 1.6 liter, Martin. 1.5. 1.5. I was putting in an extra 100 mils just for good measure. Uh, so we're on our way to Just Tap now. Get some seats. Mad. You want to say almost there? Yeah. Mad. Darren, no 
Sweet Body Comments, how you doing? How are you, mate? I'm good, man. We That's need right. some seats in an emergency. We can fix that up. We've got some uh, emo brides up there. Do uh, it, it has to be emo and cheap. That's what we're uh, here We for. don't want good seats. They have to be, are they like copies of something else? Yeah, it'd be a, a copy of a bride, so uh, I reckon they'll do So officially, fun. they're fake seats. Give us a look, man. Let's Lead the way. Fake seats, yes. All right, what do we got? Brides here that are nice and dusty. Look at that, Martin. I'm just going to try that out. Some front wheel. Oh, look at that, Martin. That's perfect. Can we get a five point racing harness through there? Yeah, we can make that we happen. Can. Look at that. All there, ready to rock. That's awesome. We're going to take two of them. What do you think of our wheels, Daz? Yeah, they're pretty good, mate. What do you think of the ones that are um, that are actually on the car, though? Give us your honest opinion. Uh, they're Bling City. <laughs> Proper Bling City. Check out the shirt. Did you see this? This is awesome. So good. All right, so there it is. Uh, we've got the wheels uh, from the show car. Uh, we've just been at Just Jap. Darren hooked us up with some, with some mad seats. They're so uh, good. They're so good, and we think that's just going to take the car to the next level. So uh, next up, time for a tofu kebab. Good to bad. Really good. I got falafel. Oh, beef. Falafel is the tofu of the kebab world. So true. And beef is the animal of the beef world. Beef world. considered racist. What? Are you in a kebab? I don't have a done up civic with hectic wheels. This is reality, that's all it is. Bloody good is what this is. Busy afternoon, man. A power up kebab power. Don't underestimate the power of the kebab. Kebab can change the world. Oh, it's gonna look nervous with that painted. This painted, re black all that. It's gonna be mad. Gonna go. School that we toasted kebabs. Hmm. Ah, that was an accident. We are sanding the uh, sanding the roof and sanding one side. Uh, Marty insisted that we painted the whole car. I insisted that we didn't, and I won. It was amazing. That um. When it starts to kind of stick, it's smooth. I'm 
Uh, we've sanded it back, it's feeling glassy smooth. Uh, so now we're going to give it a rinse, dry it off, and then mask it ready for driveway painting. Right, so we're doing a driveway paint job and this is what we're going to use. We need our masking tape and masking paper to prevent overspray. Of course you need a gun, we need our paints, we're going to do a base coat and a clear. We need a tack rag, we need thinners, we need masking tape, we need gloves, and of course we need a mask, but we had that anyway because the car stunk so bad. That's black. Very black and very flecky. There's actually a lot of fleck in this paint, lots of gold, magenta and um, silver fleck, so should look good. Okay, so the car's masked up. Yeah, the car's and... sort of masked up. <laughs> okay, so the car's masked up and now we're going to uh, paint it. We probably should be in a booth um, and the wind has just picked up as well. So uh, how do you think it's going to go, man? It's going to be, it's going to be an interesting science experiment. It is. This is science, remember? Yes, it is. It is science. Uh, we did paint one other car on the driveway, which was the zombie car, but that we kind of didn't care about that as much. We're actually trying to take this one seriously if that's possible. Color black. Really nice. <laughs> I don't know what, what to do. What's all the stuff in it? <laughs> it's stuff in the tree and the sky and the universe. Every little dot. Yeah, he's like stuff from the trees, man. So that's there forever? Yeah. Yes, yes. It was my job to put um, yeah, some nice. tape in the keyhole. <laughs> oh. I forgot. Sorry, Martin. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still, look, even though it's got bad runs in it, and the keyhole's black, I'm, wow, and the runs, they're even worse. Oh. You know what? It's called buffing. I'm just going to chop it out with a buffer. Done deal. It's going to look mad. You see, you'll see. You'll see how good it turns out. That's confidence right there. Except for the keyhole, nothing's saving that. <laughs> That hasn't been masked. <laughs> Why wasn't that masked? Dude, that was your that job. Bit of, that was your that job. That was one hundred percent your job. That Look was yours. It. I saw you over here doing this bit, <laughs> and there's just paint missing in the middle. There's Why didn't no you paint. paint the middle there? I, I, there's oh, so much stuff in it too. Okay, so there we have it. Day one. Uh, we've cleaned the human slime out of the car and the tissues and pubic hair from the boot. We, uh, we what got else, it. Martin? We picked up our wheels and our seats. Exactly, we've got some awesome seats. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then laughing, dude. Stop and laughing, then Martin's dude. done this incredible paint job, um, and um, and I helped him out with some of the uh, incredible masking. Yeah. So um, <laughs> that's um, you know we're going to put the wheels on, and that's the exterior of the car, kind of kind of done. Yeah. Uh, and then we get into the very technical uh, performance aspects of it next. Which I'm excited about, Martin. Yeah, that's let's kind of stick to what we're good at, huh? Not painting. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about your paint job now, man? You've had a few minutes to think about. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, 
the roof's not so bad. Just don't look at the other side and we're, we're all good. Okay, awesome. Well, Marty, good let's, job. Let's never mention it again. Good on you for having a go, man. It's been a couple of weeks now since we painted the Mighty Car Mods Honda Civic. Uh, the paint's all dry, but the car is covered in filth, so we're giving it a quick wash, getting rid of all the dust, and then we can rub back the clear coat and get rid of all of the runs from our awesome paint job. The runs were put in there just so we could show you guys how to fix it. And it still smells so bad. I had to drive it this morning after we push started it backwards down a hill, after it broke down in Bexley. Smelt so bad. It smelt like vegetables that had already been consumed. Oh, so bad. I wish we had smell vision so you could just poke the camera in. No word of a lot. Ah, oh, genitals. I, I, I just, it smells like fruity vegetable genitals. I know that's rude and it's, it's probably not appropriate, but it's the closest thing I can scientifically explain is the wretched stench emanating from this filthy car. The car's just a bit wet there, dude. Can you just shammy that off? Yeah, man. Oh. Your chamois doesn't work. <laughs> chamois broken, dude. Oh. The water just keeps running. It's magical water, Look, Martin. It keeps coming back. Is it at all possible, Marty, that that could be in our clear coat from our awesome paint job? What are you talking about, dude? I'm an awesome painter. That wasn't my first attempt ever. That'll come out, though. That's the amazing thing. How are we going to do it, Martin? With some 1200 grit, we're going to sand it out and then polish it. Like that. Reveal to you the mighty car mods Honda Civic project car. VTEC, y'all. What do you think? Come and have a look at the wheels, Gavin. It looks clean, but the. Ah, my eyes. <laughs> oh, I'm blinded. They're too bright. And, um, and it's got an awesome tint. Look at the tint job. You can actually see your finger through the edges. You can get a look at this oh, where good. they forgot to tint. Let's well, so the paparazzi can just get a. Slight sip of them. Oh, they're so solid yet. Take a seat, Gavin, and see what you think. That someone's oh. tried to put air fresheners in there to cover the smell. I'm not an expert, but that smells like genitals. I know, that's what I've been saying. It smells like um like oh, no. vegetables and fruit that have been put down someone's pants Where's when they've it? been leaking. Where is it coming from? I, we found out um last week it was coming from the <laughs> Maybe it's in there. Straight out. <laughs> yeah. Looks better. Looks heaps better. Doesn't look like it should have a birthday candle stuck on the top anymore. <laughs> See, look at look look how wide it'll go now. It's gonna look real crap. Wow. Yeah, anyways, look time we bought it. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so we've fixed up our awesome paint job. What do we have to do next? Is this, sorry, but is that, is that called fixed? Yeah. Really? Dude, dude, it's on its way to being fixed. It's almost fixed. All right, so that still needs to be buffed and then the car's gonna look acceptable. Now, the next thing we've got to do is, um, I know 1% of you watching now think that these wheels are appropriate and acceptable, but no, they're not. They do look like a robot's vomit. And uh, the problem is, is if you get a look down here, they have these little locks. Um, and uh, that's so you can get them off. Uh, we don't have a key for that. For our um, own wheels. I'm assuming that somebody thought that the wheels are so desirable someone might steal them if they leave a lock in the glove box. <laughs> uh, the key for the lock, sorry. Uh, so I'm gonna try and use pliers to get them off. Then we're gonna replace the wheels and the brakes, aren't we, Martin? Correct, with real Brembos. Awesome. Oh wow, there's nothing holding these on. I don't know if you can see, but look how little thread is actually holding these on. 
That is so dodgy. Wheels do stink, Marty. Yeah. Smell like vegetable pie. It's already been through someone's intestine. Look at these things, man. Look, seriously, look at that. That's part of a wheel, man. There's I, nothing cool about that. I think the amazing thing look is that it. it's got a gold horse on it. It's got Flurpy, dude. Oh, it's got Flurpy. It's got and Flurpy on it. He's a, it's it a, is unicorn. a unicorn. And I think what's amazing about this is someone came up with the idea, then made it, then took it to their boss and said, I want to put that on the wheel. And the <laughs> boss said, congratulations, you got a pay rise and we're putting them into production. And it's plastic with chrome paint. <laughs> I think I got something like this out of a show bag once. It was like a <laughs> frisbee. <laughs> yes. Oh, they, they work all right. Oh, we did. We just lose the bolts out of it. Yeah, probably. It's all right. What about overhand? I think I. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. <laughs> There it is, Martin. Goodbye. Wow. Mm. So happy about that. I'm going to be honest, TRD Laser looks better than those rims. I agree. Same brand though. Feral. Same festy 1998 spec. So feral. Yeah. 98? I reckon like mid 90s, and I reckon they would have cost about two grand. Oh, that would have been expensive, man, back in the day. So gross. Bestie. Who makes them? You can't even tell. They're too embarrassed to put their brand name on them. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost push. there. I've got it. Push, push, push. It's a seat. It's a seat. Dude, there's twins. There's another one. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. It's a seat! Twin. It's a twin seat. One of the stranger things we've done. Yeah. Too much. These wheels are going. That's really bad. So when you're upgrading the performance of your car, you need to upgrade your brakes as well. So what are we putting on, Martin? We're putting on Brembo brakes. Yes, Brembo brakes. Now, these normally go for thousands of dollars, but we got these from eBay for $20, delivered from China. That's right. There's even instructions showing you how to put them on, which is very exciting. Um, and apparently, Brembo USA, this is a genuine product. Like I don't it. think it is, Martin. I don't know, it could be. I think it's an imitation. Maybe they're just advertising. I I'm going to let you know what it says on the back. The high performance brake produces upgrade kit to satisfy a huge number of motor fans. You can dress up and ruin the braking system with their vehicle, specifically designed by Body Fantastic. Wow, look at them. Dude, they've even got the little pipe and stuff. They don't look very real. I don't know. You could fool someone, I'm sure. Wow, oh, oh, man. That. Oh, you got the front. These are the back ones. It's literally coat hanger wire. Put through to make it look like a brake line. It is. Oh, look, it comes with the... Um, oh, you glue them on. It comes with A&P component glue. Dude, you glue them on. I didn't know that. It takes three minutes to install these brakes. Sweet. You can put them on a motorbike or your shuttle. You can put them on a shuttle. Is that a space shuttle? Yeah, for extra braking. Wow. When do they stop? Oh my gosh, on your telephone. You can put Brembo's on your telephone. Look at that, Marty. Does that mean people stop calling you? I'm going to try and do it right now. I'm going to try and do it right now. Just pick like that one. Look at that, dude. That fits. That actually fits. Look at that. Marty, I've done it. <laughs> Brembo's on the phone. You've installed them. Hello, I'd like you to stop now. They're so shit. All right, so how does it work? I don't know, because I think they're going to foul on the wheels. Oh. So we might be hacking them up, sorry. Might have to hack that out and make them fit, make them do. Which side goes? That, uh, that way. 
So it goes. Hang on. Are they the same? Oh no. Yeah, that's the other side. Okay, so let's try and get one of them working. We're gonna have to hack it. Dude, that's just. That's how to install real Brembos. <laughs> <laughs> they give you instructions on how to put real ones on. But these aren't real. I mean, they are. They're not really. <laughs> wow. Shit, dude. That's. That's. What? That's what it's gonna look like. Man. That looks heaps better, dude. Yeah. Maybe it needs 20. Such a difference, isn't it? Kind of the whole car looks different. Hey, Marty, that drum brake's on the back, so what are we meant to do with them? Glue them on anyway, they'll just spin. We could glue them on the inside of the wheel. Like, we could glue them in there. And they'll spin when the wheel spins. Yeah, I know, but no one's going to notice. But when you park, we'll just make sure we roll it, like, to that position. That's actually a pretty good idea. It they'll, won't touch anything. They'll look awesome when they're going. It won't look safe though, because it looks like this has no clearance. <laughs> <laughs> we bought. We should have bought Brembo brake drum covers. Maybe we could get coat hanger wire and like just hang it in there or something. Yeah, we're gonna need to do something. And we need to get them in there somehow. Put a little tiny thing there, and then stick them like that. We got to, man. It's even better because it's on drums. Yeah. All right. I think the easiest way of installing this, uh, we thought we might have to modify it somewhat, but um, just get this inside lip and put it over here, making sure it's not interfering with the disc, and then just stretch the plastic and pull it over. And that's now on, and then obviously we use some glue to hold it on. Uh, I'm going to put the wheel on over the top so we can get an idea of what it's going to look like. All right, so the... Uh, the brake is on. Check it out. Marty, come and have a look, man. This is awesome. It looks so real. No, it looks so fast. Oh, wow. <laughs> what do you think? It looks the wrong color. Yeah. It looks just... like it's meant to be red. It looks too pink. I thought Brembo's were supposed to be gold. Uh, Maybe we need to paint them gold. That's too much work, eh? Nah, that, nah that's, let's just leave it. And it fits with the wheel on? Yep. It's amazing. I'm, I, I'm impressed by the fitment. Like, they work, don't they? They do what they say they're going to do, man. can't argue with that. Everything they've said on the back of this is true, including that you can uh, glue them onto a rocket. They're on, Marty. They don't even need glue. Like, it's properly, solidly... We're going to need glue. Mixing A and B11 with your adhesive smear, apply to service within three minutes at room temperature. Bond by the aid of finger. Set five, 10 minutes, 50% wanted strength, 30 minutes. The highest strength, 24 hours. That's bullshit, man. That's I what just, it says. No, I just found huh. a code. It went from $43 to $29. Wow. For, for doing nothing, basically. <coughs> oh, that's strong. Oh, Chinese glue. Doesn't smell like Aussie glue. Doesn't smell like Vegemite. Oh, man. Oh, that reeks. Did yeah. you break the wrong one? Which one did you break? The other one. But then that's not going to fit. What do you mean? Isn't this? Oh, is that how side? you're going to glue it? Okay. I was going to chop them off and put it flat against that. Ah, oh, gee, that smells bad. I've just looked at all the bits that actually touch this. Cool. Whatever. They fall off a bit more. Does it touch that when you? Yeah. Okay. They've thought of everything, Martin. Really strong, isn't it? Oh. Never smelt glue like that before. Freaks, man. Don't apply with finger. Oh, that smell is. Don't ever have our old eye. I just fell over from the stink of it, Marty. Really bad smell. That 
glue is just evil. Is that real? Was that real? That thing? Was there just something on me? Oh no, it just made me go weird. I fell over. Now the back of this car has drum brakes. So a Brembo cover is not that useful, but we're going to make it work because these are proper Brembos. That's mighty car mods, Martin. You make it work. You make it do, as Mechanical Stig would say. So we're going to install them using a little bracket, like that. Martin, that's a little piece of brilliance. Look at that. That's oh, going to look unreal, man. so bad. That's awesome. How are you going to hold that on? Well, that'll glue on easy, and then that will just... We can either a tiny little tack weld or glue that too. It's a bit more vertical, though, I reckon. Yeah. Look at my car, they sit up. They kind of put it at about 1 o'clock, hey? 1.30. Yeah, about there. Even though, um, if you like, you can glue them on. Oh, if, you, if you feel like playing with that glue again. With Asian glue? Yeah, hang on, I'm Ben. I should check this one off it too. Right. <laughs> Did it exactly the same as it was last week. Well, we had to pay 17% interest and stuff like that. 7% of $400,000. Yeah. As soon as it drags it, yeah, it's all over. It's not going to stay. Oh, this is being filmed. This is the sh crappest thing ever. Is that holding? Yeah, whatever. I fucking don't care. <laughs> right. Now, as you can see, the brakes on the back of our Civic are drum brakes. And there's no caliper to put our caliper on. So we've made these little brackets which we've stuck to our caliper and then we're going to weld them to the back like that and no one's ever going to know that we don't have Brembo's on the back of our car. Let me get this straight, Martin. Yes, mate. To attach a $5 plastic caliper cover, we use... we're going to use a kind of a $2,000 welder, is that correct? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> What's everyone else on eBay meant to do? I don't know. I have no idea. On to the other side. So while you're on eBay buying your uh, fake calipers, get a welder too. Yeah, pick one up. The gas is only like 150 bucks a bottle. Yep. You know, and that's nothing. Of course, it'd be cheaper to buy real Brembo's for your car. <laughs> it actually would be. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. But then they wouldn't be fake, would they? And this is all about the fakeness. Look at the amazing custom mount. Look at that. Incredible. It's kind of hard to weld through paint, so we're going to strip it. Mad. Some, uh... Dude, the Brembo's look good. I can, I, I buy it. I completely buy it. When the car's back low again, you're rolling, Gavin. I rate it. Playing with my nuts. You chuck some nut, dude. Nut. Two nuts at once is impossible to grab. <laughs> so that's okay. You used that before. <laughs> Just one. All right, dump it. Yeah, dude. Oh, that's so much better. Wow, that looks awesome. That actually looks cool. Take the, a hammer and try and bash that dent out. The height looks better with these. Uh, I think they're a little bit smaller than the ones that were on there before. Yeah, probably. Which actually looks better. The guitarist is satchel. Oh, 
actually looks good, man. I think it looks good. Like if no one told you that it was all fake. Fake or not, I mean, whether things are fake or whether they're real really has nothing to do with their aesthetic, you know? Like mm -hmm. it, it's like people can go, oh, but it's not going to go fast, but these are the same people that are going to put massive brakes on their car so they can leave it parked in their security car park and show their friends, you know, and That's there's true. actually no difference. And so. I, I, you know, I spent three grand on brakes, just yeah. so you can say that. Yeah. How much were they? Three bucks? It was 20 bucks for four, so like five bucks each, but that was including postage, so probably about three dollars each. Mm. You know, I know people are going to have a problem with what we've done yeah. because they're going to go, it's not real. But then you'd kind of go, well, how real is a black car compared to a blue car? Someone's made an aesthetic decision based on what the car should look like and nothing else. It has no practicality, the colour of a car. It's true. Yeah, the colour of the about... carpet inside, you know, like people are going to say, eh, you shouldn't care about that stuff, but then they will still choose to drive a certain car based on the aesthetic quality. So in fact, in a sense, it's everything. When you drive it, sure, it's not going to be as more of a... Um, you know, it's not going to be as fuller experience yeah, as yeah. driving a fast car, but for most people that drive in 50 km an hour zones for three minutes a day, then who cares? Exactly. And you, if you look at it and you're pleased, then I guess that's why you do it, right? Yeah. And I, it's that whole thing about, you know, me not liking micros and you not really liking, you know, some other small cars. The thing is that if somebody said, oh, look at that, your car's really quick, and you go, no, I've done it as a piss take, it's a mm. joke, that's mm. fine. Uh, the problem is I think people buying it and then presenting it as something real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making out like it's... You know, like someone going, oh, you got Brembo's, where do you get that? Oh, yeah, you know, I like investing in my car, and it's obviously rubbish. You know, it's... I think it's cool. You, you put as much silly stuff on your car as you want, claim it, own it, laugh at it, and move on. Who cares? Mm. I'd never do it to my own car. No, neither. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> Pull him out. And oh, yeah. It's just that bolt. And then there'll be one in here as well. On the inside? Yep. Yeah, two 10 mils. Yep. So hold the bumper onto the front of the car. They use a, like a star hexy bolt thing. I don't know the technical term. But these screwdriver thingies, I got in America about two years ago. Because I think they're about $2 for a set of 10. Tools are so cheap in the States. It's crazy. been crashed Martin actually no it hasn't Martin it hasn't been crashed the bumpers are thrashed though man parking it's been parked it looks pretty looks straight neat. yeah grab the bumper again can we mock it up quickly yeah I just want to see how much we need to cut out of the bumper because we can do that anyway there's a fair bit of room man like look in there this yeah there is but I think it's too high the yeah, actual, the core is. is too high to fit in there. Great, I'll grab a ruler, hold on. 28, it's the same as an RS turbo, man. 28 centimetres high will be perfect. How high is that one? Like 40 or something? 33. A huge difference. Think about it, man. All you've got to cut is there. That's all, like nothing. It's just two little cuts with an angle grinder there and there. Really? It, it'll be totally useless, but... So you, that's the idea, man. Yeah, we're never gonna, and this one's free. So I think if we just angle grind that, because keep in mind that's there's nothing in there. Yeah. And we just cut it off. There. I was in here. Well, let's make it a bit smaller then to make it comfortable. Let's cut it there. All right, I'll get a marker. Hold on. I would just do it's what you said. Twenty-seven and twenty-eight. And just here. Straight along there. So here, I'd seen twenty-five centimeters. Here's this way we're talking. We're, we're gonna cut. That's going to be the new bottom of it, the bottom of that. So I just drew a line straight across here. As in here at 24 centimetres. So that's going to leave that much of a gap, maybe. Yeah. Oh, no. So... Oh, yeah, maybe there. Here? Yeah. And then so exactly the same on the other side. Yeah, you go. Thumbs up for left-handers. We're special. <laughs> Stop. Increasing my protection. Who can tell me what episode that's from? I can't, Martin. Front mount install, episode 9. 8. Cool.
That didn't work. It's literally just a whole heap of aluminium foil holding that together. Or if you're from America, aluminum foil. Come on. I'm gonna get it, dude. I always assumed that our front mounts were quite flimsy. They're not, eh? They're not. Yes! yes. <laughs> wow. That is front mount zero. Mighty Mods 1. Mad. Look at it, man. A crazy thing. We're using this bit, right? Yeah. So thin, that metal. <laughs> To really sell the idea of this car having a full turbo system, we are hacking the front of the bumper bar. That means everyone's going to be able to see what we've got. It's kind of like having a pair of jeans with no zip. You let it hang out and everyone thinks you're awesome. You just can't do it in certain parts of Sydney. Is that done, Martin? It's going to look great. We're going to trick everyone in Haymarket this Friday night. Aren't we, Martin? All of the internal mods, which is going to involve some seats. And actually, I'm not going to tell you because it's going to ruin the surprise, isn't it, Martin? That's exactly right. It's time to clean up. Clean it up, Martin. Stay there, I'm not going to hurt your balls. <laughs> what are we doing, man? I don't know, get back to work.